The world has just experienced the first full year in which global temperatures exceeded 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial times, scientists said on Friday. 2024 saw temperatures rise on every continent, resulting in heat waves, drought and extreme weather. The milestone was confirmed on Friday by scientists at the European Union's Copernicus Climate Change Service. They're warning that climate change is pushing the planet's temperatures to levels never experienced by modern humans. Here's Carlo Buontempo, director of the EU's Copernicus Climate Change Service. Every single month, uh, January to July, has been uh, the warmest on record. July was the second warmest, uh, and uh, and then the, the from then on has been the second or or or, or close to first uh, uh, around. But when you put all the, all of those together then the trajectory is, um, is just incredible and sums up to the warmest year on record. The planet's average temperature in 2024 was 1.6 degrees Celsius higher than in 1850 to 1900. That's the pre-industrial period before humans began burning CO2-emitting fossil fuels on a large scale. What's more, 2024 was the hottest year since records began, and each of the past 10 years was among the 10 warmest on record. Governments promised under the 2015 Paris Agreement to try and prevent average temperatures exceeding the symbolic threshold of 1.5 degrees to avoid more severe and costly climate disasters. Yet, despite this, the first year above 1.5 degrees does not breach that target, which measures the longer-term average temperature. According to Bontempo, it's not too late for countries to rapidly cut emissions and avoid global warming rising faster, although they need to act fast. The Paris Agreement will be reached in the near future. Uh, we can discuss whether it will be the late 2020s, early 2030s, but we are bound to reach 1.5 in the terms of the Paris Agreement and exceed it. It's not a done deal. Um, we have the power to change the trajectory from now on, we can do it, but we need to do it um, based our actions uh, on facts, on evidence, and there are plenty of evidence available that we can base our actions on. The impacts of climate change are now visible on every continent, affecting people from the richest to the poorest countries on Earth. It is worsening storms and torrential rainfall because a hotter atmosphere can hold more water, leading to intense downpours. But as the costs of these disasters spiral, political will to invest in curbing emissions has waned in some countries. US President-elect Donald Trump, who takes office on the 20th of January, has called climate change a hoax, despite global scientific consensus that it is human-caused and will have severe consequences if not addressed.